You know that you're working with a talented chef when you can take a small ingredient list and then make an exquisite dish. Executive chef Garth Blackburn from Sub-Zero Wolf knows how to impress with root veggie and potato stack Texas Mon... Tazio. Tazio. Yes, that's the cheese. I almost got it all out. That's from Paul Lambert at the Fresh Mozzarella Company. Okay, so I like using you, local ingredients. As you you got to break it down in layman's terms for breaking me. Breaking it down. Some cheese. How about that? Cheese. I got some cheese. It's all similar right. to Parmesan. So you could substitute some like Parmesan Sounds instead. That's good. But I like to keep it simple. So what we're going to start with are some root vegetables. Uh, and I like to, rather than kind of start with the end, uh, for things like the rutabaga, for example, I left the top on because when you're using the mandolin, you want to keep your fingers intact. And we want everybody to know this is what a mandolin is. It is. It is. Yeah. And you can buy this at certain kitchen type Most stores. Most places, yeah, yeah. It's also called a finger slicer because if you get too close to that and blade, you have, you're yeah, going to lose the Yeah, be really careful. You could do So I leave damage. the tops on all my vegetables. That way you have a place to hold as mm -hmm. you work your way down. That's so a great idea. if you want to cut that here so we have a little bit larger circle. Okay. Uh, the other thing I found, you might notice that that cutting board kind of starts to move. Mm-hmm. That will slide really easily. Right, right, right. So my little tip on that is just to take a little bit of water. This is so cool, y'all. You have to pay attention. He gives great tips. This is neat. A paper towel. Yep. And then we'll set this down. Okay. Look at that. And now it won't move. So that's going to so be your like glue. It's like a homemade suction right there. It is. You're it welcome, is. folks. You're welcome. So okay. start slicing. Slice and dice here. Keep those fingers away. <laughs> okay, that's enough. We're just going to do, right. do a few here. This is the sweet potato. That was rutabaga. This is, we need these to are cut this one. These I don't normally like. This I mean, is kind of large right here. You're handling it well, though. <laughs> Would you hold the mandolin while I do this? See? Team project Takes there. a village, Scar. It right. takes a village. Okay. Carrot, a little bit easier to handle there. Yeah, I can deal with that. All See, right. and it's also a great workout. See? Yeah, yeah I could probably mark that. I need to do that. the, need need to do the left hand, bit. too. All right. And then a regular Yukon gold potato. All righty. While you're doing that, I'm going to chop up some herbs. I've got some rosemary and some thyme and a little bit of oregano. How much time do you got? I got enough time to finish <laughs> off this potato stack. How about that? You got time? I got time. Okay. You're going to make something really cool. It's, yeah, it's, it's real simple. This is I so like neat, y'all. The ingredients to kind of stand out. So we're going to start with a, a ramekin. A little ramekin. I like to use Texas butter. If you can get it, Lucky Layla Farms is probably my favorite Texas butter. It's a sweet cream butter. Mm -hmm. So that's going to keep it from sticking. Yeah. So now we're just going to start layering. So grab one of those root veggies. Okay, any one. You don't have you any don't. specific well, order? So what, actually, start I guess what bigger. you think about is we'll know what's going to be on the top. So when oh, this cooks, right. when I flip it out. The little goes first. What do you want to be pretty The on little that? one goes so first. So maybe those, those, sure, the sweet potato or some no, carrots. No, actually, I like this little baby. Or you can be indecisive and you keep wanna, You want to graduate them in descending order, right? From the smallest to the largest. I usually make it as a stack, but this is yours. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. I forgot it... this was your stack. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. I'm sorry, Mr. Garth. You, you won't. Yeah, you won't notice the difference. It's all going to cook together. So that's some of the herb. This little bit of that Montazio cheese. So maybe some put a salt, few stacks and then and add. And I'll your... keep rolling with it. Okay, right. Keep so we'll just rolling. keep adding, adding to it. And Alrighty. these are vegetables that I don't normally care for, especially on rutabaga and parsnips. Right. But I think when you put them all together. It really it adds some complexity to it. And it makes such a pretty little dish. I mean, this would be great for any entertaining or... Absolutely. So now this is some uh, heavy cream. I don't, I don't need to add much. Mm -hmm. That's just going to help to cook it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is from Milking Creamery, also a Texas Creamery. So again, that whole Texas thing. Absolutely. And then a little bit more cheese. That's going to kind of glue it all together. Where can and we find that real quick? Uh, you can actually find this at Whole Foods. Okay. Uh, and sometimes Central Market, but Whole Foods for okay. sure. We can cook them in these individual ramekins, or you can do what I do, which is we're getting ready for the Cote Decor this coming Saturday, I the know. American Heart Association. Exciting. We are making 1,500 of these. You are not. We are, so okay. we're cranking so away right now. In order to get that done quicker, you're going to have to use like a muffin tin. Exactly. All righty. So and look how pretty, y'all. This is so pretty. Gorge. Oh my gosh, and it smells delicious too. So okay, pretty. Now the fast way to do this uh -huh. is going to be to. It's for Amy to get out of your way and move your mandolin, and you're going to flip it. So now, this will be kind of the test to make sure that we have enough <laughs> grease in there. We'll see what sticks and what doesn't, but Alrighty. you can actually reassemble these. So, you would have done the same thing with your muffin tin, just do the butter all in it, and. Ooh, look how pretty. Not pretty well. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Isn't that pretty and healthy? It is healthy. A little, little bit of grease in there, but not, not too terribly bad. So we'll go ahead and sl slide this on the plate. This is actually going to be the base for our next segment, which we're going to top with a little bit of Thai chili, mm -hmm. glazed pork mm -hmm. tenderloin wrapped in prosciutto. So this will be our starch base here to kind of get things gorgeous, rolling with. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. OK. Well, um, i got to get out of this segment, and I'm going to take a bite just one second. You can get Gar's recipe here on our website by logging on to thebroadcasttv.com. Click on today's links. Always tell you that. And he's going to join us in our next